to you again from Alley Vision here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, we did the two buck frame hack the other day and today we're going to do the painted on frame hack today. So if you've got your four paintings laying around, you want to jazz them up, spice them up a little bit, make them sell a little quicker, have them look nicer just hanging on the wall. So if you got that edge over there that, you know, things didn't quite make it all the way. Uh, a lot of times people would just normally black out the edges. Um, what we're going to do today is um, do a painted on frame. So here you go, here's a couple of examples of some four paintings. And here's one that uh, in that particular size that I went ahead and put a black frame, a slim black frame around. So to go ahead and peel this off right here. And as far as what I'm using to accomplish this process, you got a nice cleaner um, looking feel to it than just a over the over the edge pour feel to it. So the materials I'm using um, is oil paint. I have Van Dyke brown and burnt sienna. Uh, I'll use a little bit of white occasionally or black in it too and you saw I did one black. Um, and I use a liquid gel uh, me mixing medium and the reason that I use the uh, oil paint for this process is I can get a lot more texturing which makes it feel like you get some wood grain to it so anyways all you really do um, is pick one side either the long side or the short side that you want to do first it's kind of a two-phase process so you go ahead and um, you take your initial piece of tape and put it down so whatever size tape you want uh, to have for uh, whatever size you want to have for a, a trim piece around this is the size tape that you want to use to mask it off with and you just go ahead and put one piece of tape here and one piece of tape here and that's going to be your 45 degree corner pieces and then you can lay your long piece of tape from here to here and then pull off the, um, the tape there and use it for the 45s. Anyway, so you do that real quick and you set it up like this and go ahead and paint it uh, with the oil paint using a, a whatever size brush you want and you'll see you start to get that really textured feel to it um, when you're looking at it here so i've already done one side of this and then masked off the other now and i just finished painting that so this is all ready to pull off too um, so we can get a nice clean look at it and what's important is that when you're doing this and the reason you do it in two phases um, is you really want to build up a good edge at those 45 degree um, areas so that it feels like that's a, a joint in the wood. And it also helps that you're painting them at two separate times because generally your mix of paint won't be exactly the same. So you'll get kind of a contrast in color tones of the paint. Um, one, the sideboards will look lighter and the top boards will look darker or vice versa. So again, just peeling that off. Real quick there, and this, this is a fluid art um, piece of work that we did for the Oregon coast, and so there you go, and that's what it looks like, and here's another example as well, another beach pour with that um, painted on frame, and you can go wild with this too if you want to spend some more time detailing it, um, you certainly could paint whatever you wanted to in here. But looking at just the, it being pore paintings or liquid liquid fluid art, we just wanted to jazz them up, make them look nicer on the wall and get them sell. This is our painted on faux frame from Alley Vision. No buck frame <laughs> from Alley Vision. So everybody have a good night tonight and uh, jazz up your paintings. Hope they sell.